Hi, John Wanao here. I'm speaking from Waitangi and the Bay of Islands, New Zealand. And I'm just show you the Marae, Titi Marae today, the 27th of October 2016. We're having our um, annual meeting of the Congress Assembly inside this Marae for the Declaration of Independence Day tomorrow, 28th of October 2016, back to 1834 in Kororareka, 20th of March 1834. First British arrival here in the village of Russell, a British title that the King owns the land. J.R. Captain J.R. Clendon. Okay, so that's the flag up there, and that's the Marae, the Queen's Bench Court, and that's their title there, the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi, no end date contract. So what that really means is that it's illegal, and it has no end date, the contract is illegal. So what we're doing is we're going to Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, we're going from the Queen's Bench Court into the King's Bench Court, beyond those trees on the other side, Watangi Marae. Okay, so we're going to take our proclamations from the Queen's Bench Court here into the King's Bench Court on the other side and enforce them. I've already done that with Kingi Tauroa, Pohepa Epiha and Willie Pater and others in Watangi Marae on the 15th of April 2016 this year and declared or proclaimed the marae open for business, our confederation business and the whakamininga business. Um, and the pound note, we've enforced those into law there from the Treaty of Waitangi Day the same year, 4th, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th of February 2016. So we took it over there on the 15th after Kororareka raising the flag in Russell for the first British arrivals. So now the, we're waiting for the British or someone from the Navy, the British Navy or the Navy in New Zealand. I gave, gave the Rear Admiral, Chief of Navy, John Martin, notice of this event on the 30th of September 2016. It's taken right up to now not to get an answer yet. But I spoke to Tekani Tewiata, the cultural manager for the Navy, and he did tell me that there won't be anybody attending. So that's a shame because it goes on the record to the British that they did not want to participate in the 182 years of celebrating their arrival here. They're still thinking that the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi is the founding document. It is not. That's just a piece of concrete, and it's not a memorial as such with any substance underneath it because it's got no end date. I make that point quite clear. Contracts in Admiralty have to have an end date when their occupation is finished. So what's going to happen is that if they don't turn up in the court on the other side, then the chiefs of the Confederation, the chiefs of the Whakamininga, can end the occupation titles of the Navy in Russell on the other side, okay? And the rest of the country. So we'll leave it at that. I've got to go inside now and continue with the meeting inside. So, this is from me, John, why not? Here, to go in and take the chiefs into the Marae and to proclaim the land belongs to the chiefs and not the king or the queen of England. Okay, so that's all from me.